if you're making a game in Roblox, then you're definitely going to encounter vector threes. And if you want to make something like this that uses ray casting, you definitely need to understand what a vector three is. A vector three is just a data type in Roblox that's often used to represent a position, rotation, or size of a part, but that's just the beginning of what a vector three can represent. It breaks down into three components, an X, Y, and Z component, which are all represented as numbers. Now I'm gonna walk you through where you're going to see vector threes most often and how to create them, as well as do math with them. So with Roblox Studio open, click on view, click on properties and explore to make sure they're open. And then once they're open, we'll go to the model tab and insert a part. And I'll just zoom in a little bit, control three, and I'll resize this to a one by one by one part. And right there, you'll notice I said three numbers because the size of this part is actually a vector three. So in properties, I'll scroll down to the size right here. And as you can see, there's three numbers, and that means that this will be represented by a vector three. And a vector three is kind of just a container that holds three numbers. And in this case, the three numbers are going to represent the, the length, the width, and the height of this part. Actually, it's gonna be like the length, height, and then width, but it doesn't really matter all that much. So I'll scroll down again and show you. So right here, if I change the first number to a two, you can see the X component of this part uh, increases and now it's a two by one by one. Do control Z and I'll change the second number and then the Y component increases. So now it's a one by two by one. Start right here, or part. And I can do control Z again. Let's see, control Z again, have it selected. Scroll down and I'll do one by one by two. And now we see it looks like this. It's a one by one by two part. So that's one spot where you're gonna see vector threes a lot, of course. If you actually click this on the side, you can see it breaks down into the X, Y, and Z components. Now, in addition to the size, you'll see it on the position. So I'll, I'll scroll up and here you'll see the position. It's uh, 3.5, 0 0.5, negative 8.5. I can expand this again. And you can also just click these individually and change the X specifically, the X component, the Y component, or the Z component. Uh, just up to you how you like to do that. But you'll see as I move it around, and I'll just drop it here. And uh, as you can see, the uh, Z component is changing, X, Y, Z. So that last one is changing, uh, negative 9.5, then negative 8.5, and negative 7.5. So the origin, I'll actually change this to 0, comma 0, comma 0. And it goes right here. I'll move the spawn just so you can see it. Uh, it's actually in the middle of the base plate. So this is the center of the entire world. We're going to select the base plate, control two, move it down a little bit. And now you can see this is the origin. And all that means it's the point uh, where it's zero, zero, zero in space. So the X component is zero, the Y component is zero, and the Z component is zero. Now, depending on how far you are in school, you may not have learned about the you know, coordinate system and how all this works, what the origin is. Uh, but you don't really need to know all that the you know specific fancy terms basically this is just the point where x y and z are zero in your game to help you understand why this all matters i've uh, created this right here and you, you can actually see in the top right of my screen the x y and z coordinates or axes uh, but this makes it a little bit more clear so now this point right here in gray if i click on it and look at the position it's at zero 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 and actually create another part and let me resize this real quick to show you what is going on here so if i'll do control two and i'll move right here so now the part that i created to position zero 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 and then i have this red part this blue part and this green part which all represent the x y and z axes so x is red the y is green and then the z is blue and as you can see it actually matches up with the arrows here uh, for the tool to move this part. And as you can see, this position is zero, zero, zero for this part. I'll move it one stud to the left and it's one, zero, zero. And that's because it's one stud in the X direction. I'll move it one more stud. And as you can see, the position's now two, zero, zero. If I move it back to this center point, this zero, 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 and I move it in the blue direction, so that's the Z axis. I'll move it one over 
and go ahead and guess what the position will be. It's currently 0, 0, 0. We'll move it one stud in the blue direction of the Z axis and it changes to 0, 0, 1. Again, I'll move it one more, 0, 0, 2. I'll move it, uh, instead of going back to the origin, I'll keep it at 0, 0, 2, and I'm gonna move it up in the positive Y direction. So there's actually a positive negative. I'll move it up one and go ahead and guess what it's gonna be. It's currently at 0, 0, 2. I'll move it up one, and it's now 0, 1, 2. And what that means is that this part uh, from the origin, from this zero point, is going to be two studs in the z direction. So that's two studs this way. Uh, so two studs, one, two, and then followed by a one up. Uh, you can actually do it in the other order as well. Let me do a control Z there, whoops, a little bit off. You know, I could go one up and then two over. It doesn't actually matter for this particularly, uh, but that's just how that works. You know, I can also add some X direction in there. So I just went uh, two over in the X direction. The position is now two, one, two. So that's how the position system works. And there's also negative numbers. So just to show that, I'll move this back to the origin. It's at zero, zero, zero. As you can see, I'll move it down one and it's zero, negative one, zero, because that's in the negative Y direction. Uh, so going, you know, from this origin point, along this x axis is the positive on the opposite direction is the negative x direction so you know here all right here is negative one zero zero so that's how the axis or the coordinate system works in roblox how these vector threes are representing the position of parts in 3d space and that's also showing you you know what these green red and blue arrows actually mean you know, this blue arrow is representing moving a part in the Z direction. The green arrow is representing moving a part in the Y direction. And the red arrow is the Z X direction. Creating a vector through in a script isn't too complicated. So I'm gonna click the plus and the explore, type in script and create a script. And then the first thing I'll do is just create a vector three. So I'll type in local vector equals and then vector three. I can do tab to complete that dot new and then I can create the vector through here as you can see it says number X Y Z so I'll just do uh, four by four by four and then I can also create a part so local part equals instance dot new and then part and now I can actually set the part size to the new vector so I'll do part dot size equals vector and that is one way to create a vector three and it's pretty simple so just to see this happen type in part dot parent equals workspace and we can actually run this and you'll see that we get a four by four by four part and then i'll pause this now there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with vector threes so a basic example of this would be uh here we'll do actually instead of the four by four by four we can do times two, uh, and then we'll see when we run the game that this is now an eight by eight by eight. So that's a basic example of what the, how that would work. Uh, I could also do, you know, plus vector. So this would be four plus four plus four. To make this a little bit different, actually, I'll do four, one, two. So now if I add this, it'll be an eight by two by four. Uh, so it's adding the four plus four on the other one, one plus one on the other one, two plus two on the other one. So it's eight, two, and then four. I'll run the game, and as you can see, that's an eight by two by four part. So it's a basic example of how to create a vector, how to add vectors, and how to use vectors. Now, I also said that you can access the X, Y, and Z components of this. So let me show you that. So here at the bottom, just to verify the size, let's see, we'll type in print and then after that we'll type in part dot the size dot x and what that does is since the size is a vector it has an x component it also has a y and z component along with a magnitude but the magnitude doesn't really make too much sense in this case but let's go ahead and run this and see what we get we should get eight because we'll be adding four plus four so let's go ahead and run this and as you can see down in the output, we get eight. 
and that's just because up here we're adding four plus four on this vector addition right here as always thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video if it helped you out subscribe for more in the future and comment any questions below